watching for a couple rounds of storms here as we head into the weekend uh, that could bring some impacts to at least parts of the area. So we're watching tonight and then Saturday as a few strong storms are possible, mainly north of the Omaha Metro as we go through tonight and then mainly south and east of the Metro as we go through the afternoon on Saturday. So Storm Prediction Center severe weather outlook here for Friday night has that margin risk from Columbus through Carroll and then the slight risk in yellow Norfolk into northeast Nebraska. So the better chances will be in northeast Nebraska, possibly a few stronger storms near the Norfolk area as we go through the nighttime hours. Hail wind the main threat and watching for that flash flood potential as we could see some very heavy rainfall especially closer to the South Dakota border. Cold front coming through on Tuesday, more likely during the middle of the day in the Omaha Metro later in the afternoon off to the east, and that's where we have the better chance for any strong, severe storms, more likely toward Des Moines, down toward the Maryville area here and that yellow slight risk, but can't rule out a couple stronger storms anywhere from Carroll down through Nebraska City, Falls City along that frontal boundary as we get close to peak heating. So any stronger storms have the hail wind threat, lower tornado threat, but uh, still a chance more likely south central Iowa into north central Missouri. So a couple rounds possible here as we go into the weekend. This morning, there's that heavy rain in southern Minnesota on the I-90 corridor, far northern Iowa. All this staying well north of our area. Just a little tiny shower recently passed through the Norfolk area. Otherwise, just a couple clouds around to start the day. There's some clouds there. Our viewpoint from our Cobalt Credit Union camera down in Papillion, Highway 370, 72nd Street, early on this Friday morning. First morning officially of summer and feeling like it. 70s, pretty much everybody. 70 on the dot. Red Oak, Harlan, 73 right now. Omaha and Lincoln with a little bit of a south breeze. But that south breeze will pick up today. Expect gusts between 15 and 25 miles per hour most of the day. So plan on breezy, hot, humid conditions for the majority of your Friday. Good day to cool off at the pool, though. Don't forget the sunscreen. Look at those temperatures climb. Mid 80s, possibly some upper 80s already by noon. We'll see more sunshine. First half of the day, a couple more clouds moving in for the afternoon. Most of those temperatures topping out around 90 degrees, but factoring the humidity, it'll feel more like the mid 90s as we head toward four, five, six o'clock. Overnight, here's midnight again. This model projecting more of those stronger storms. Northeast Nebraska again could skirt the northern fringe of our viewing area overnight. It's possible we could get a stray shower, maybe a rumble of thunder close to the metro as we go late tonight, early tomorrow morning. But again, starting off in the 70s on Saturday front coming through middle of the day. So more likely seeing highs in the upper 80s. There is a chance we miss out on most of the activity, but this model is starting to kick up some of those storms two o'clock. So early to mid afternoon, our best shot for any activity here in the Omaha Metro. But look what happens as we head toward three, four o'clock, signifying maybe a couple stronger storms Atlantic down toward Nebraska City for five o'clock. And then by six o'clock, everything's out. We pick up a little bit of a north breeze and start to clear out, which is great because the College World Series final begins. Game one, first pitch around 630 between Texas A&M and Tennessee and should have some great weather. Temperatures in the 80s dropping into the 70s with a light north breeze, so the wind likely blowing out tomorrow. So that could play a factor. The rest of the weekend, well, sunshine back up around 90 on Sunday and then impact weather to start next week as the high heat returns. Mid 90s, more likely going to see those feels like temperatures in the triple digits before we see another front and a chance for storms late Tuesday into Tuesday night, and that will bring some relief from the heat by the middle of next week. But with some storm chances in the forecast this weekend and that high heat eventually returning, you can check the weather forecast anytime by downloading the KTV mobile app.